Okay, Dixie and I are out here on the causeway. We're going to show you all how to set a trap, why you set it, where you set it. So hang with us. Okay, what we're going to do is I brought a piece of baloney, which works great for polywog bait. And like I say, all you want to do is take that piece of baloney, put it inside of your trap, line those ears up on that trap, And like I say, I'm using the stainless steel catch that I made for this thing because the last thing you want to do is lose your trap. All right, we're going to lock this baby down. Okay, there's your trap, ready to roll. Okay, we're going to walk right down this bank and I'm going to show you a little hole in what you're looking for. Okay, what we got is a little creek that runs right next to the bank here, and there's an old tree that's falling down here. What it's done is give me a washout. There's a little bit of hole in there. When you set these things and you find you a spot on the side of the road, like where a culvert is or anywhere where a creek comes up close to a roadway, you usually will find your polywogs. But you need to check this thing on different stages of tide. Now, like on a nine foot tide and the water's really sucked out of here, sometimes this thing won't hold any polywogs because there's not enough water to keep them in here. And that also depends on the time of the year. Warmer weather, they'll fall out. Winter time, they may stay up in here because the water's colder. But we're going to go ahead and set this trap, and then we'll be back in a little bit. We'll pull it, and we'll see how we've done. All right, right now, I'm going to just try to lay that thing in the hole. And that's, that's all there is to it. And what I'm looking at right now is I can see that thing. That thing's probably in about a foot and a half of water. I'm going to take my line. I'm going to tie it off to a bush here in an hour or so. We're going to come back and check it. Okay, it's been about an hour or so. We're going to go down there and we're going to check our trap and see what we got. All right, we got a nice mess of polywogs. Let's walk up on the bank and we'll see what we got. All right, let's see what we ended up with. Like I say, there's, there's nothing to this. Just another good way of, of having bait. When you can't find any shrimp, you can always find polywogs. All right, we split the trap open. Let's get ready and put them in our bucket. Get that old piece of baloney out of the way. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. But there's your polywogs right there. And I'm telling you, that's some fine bait. All right, we're gonna put them in our bucket. Boy, that, that's some beautiful bait right there. And folks, that's all there is to it, getting your polywogs. And I'm telling you right now, uh, if I had a choice, somebody told me I could have shrimp today or polywogs, I believe I'd take polywogs. Like I say, some friends of mine went the other day, they had shrimp, they had polywogs, everything they caught was on polywogs. Water temperature 72 degrees. So that just shows you at the beginning of the spring when these fish are starting to hit, they still turned on to the polywog because your shrimp is not that predominant in the water. So whatever's out there, that's what you want to feed them. Burnside Bopper, come get you some.